Hi, welcome to the second video in my mini-series on metaphysical poetry. In the first video, we covered who the metaphysical poets were and key events about where and when they lived. If you missed it, feel free to check it out by clicking on the link above. Today, let's discuss what the primary characteristics of these works are. We'll be looking through the lens of a single poem, John Donne's Hymn to God, My God, in My Sickness, consisting of six stanzas and written in 1623 or possibly 1631. Number one, the metaphysical poets were known for philosophical musings on weighty topics such as love, faith, morality, and knowledge. Dunn's poem takes on the weightiest topic of all, death itself. The poem speaker, experiencing a serious illness, calmly contemplates the possibility of his life's end. Despite his dire prognosis, he finds comfort in the thought that death, at least in the Christian tradition, is not the end, but a new beginning, a rebirth. Number two, metaphysical poetry is famous for its employment of conceit, an extended metaphor whose pairing of ideas is often unconventional and even at times esoteric. In the second stanza of Hymn to God, the speaker frames his physicians as cosmographers, who examine the map of his body as he lies flat on this bed, reflecting the era's ongoing fascination with cartography and exploration. Number three, wit and wordplay. The metaphysical poets were not afraid to show off their learning, often through their clever use of the English language. The speaker refers to his illness using the Latin phrase per fretum febris, meaning through feverish turmoil, followed by the phrase by these straits to die. The line plays in the word fretum, which means both turmoil and strait, as in fretum magellanicum, the Latin term for the Strait of Magellan, a navigable sea route in southern Chile connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. The speaker also alludes to the Strait of Magellan in the previous line. Just as the strait was Magellan's southwest discovery, the source of the speaker's illness is his own. Number four is irony and paradox. These two devices share an emphasis on contrast between the expected and unexpected in the case of irony or the pairing of oppositions and paradox. Dunn's poem is full of oppositions, but the most memorable appears in the third stanza. After establishing death as his west, the speaker notes that the opposite sides of a map, west and east, actually represent the same point on the Earth's globe. He uses this imagery to conclude that in the same way, death and resurrection are one and the same. And lastly, number five. Symptomatic of their time, metaphysical poems exhibit the tension between the allure of worldly pursuits and an earnest devotion to God. In the first half of his poem, Dunn's allusions come from the secular realms of music, medicine, and geography. But as he reaches his conclusion, the references become increasingly religious in character. By the final line, the speaker completely and willingly submits his life to God. So to sum up, the five primary characteristics of metaphysical poetry are 1. Philosophical reflection 2. Metaphorical conceit 3. Wit and wordplay 4. Irony and paradox and 5. A melding of the secular and the sacred I hope you found this video helpful. Dunn's poem, Hymn to God, absolutely deserves to be read in its entirety, and you can find a link to it in the description below. All other works and images in this video are also cited in the description. Thanks for joining me, and see you next time.